<laughs> a good evening, Brett. As you said, McAllister, the McAllister area could receive up to half an inch of ice. Of course, some areas even more. And of course, with all that ice, that could lead to power outages. That's why PSO is bringing in some extra crew members. Meanwhile, residents are doing some preparing of their own. Ask any McAllister area resident about the biggest winter storm to ever hit. The response goes something like this. 2003, I believe, or yeah, 2003 was a big one. I think it was in 2000 or maybe 2001. We had a really bad one down here. 2000 and 2006. Back in 2006 or seven. While the dates diminished from memory, they remember the experience. It was miserable. No power. Uh, this town basically shut down. I don't want to go through that again. So people have learned their lessons. Yes, they have learned their lessons. And preparing for the next storm is part of that lesson. And here at Atwood's, products like ice melt are flying off the shelves. People tell me they simply don't want to be caught off guard. When they start hollering ice, people start coming in and they start getting prepared for it. Talking about losing electricity, so I'm getting my gas heater. A lot of ice fixing to hit. I hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And in a town where Old Man Winter loves to vacation, that's all anyone can do. And I'm told those extra PSO power crews should start arriving here tomorrow morning. Reporting live in McAllister tonight, Brandon Richard, 2 News Works for You.